Hey booze, welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Kendra Nicole here with a new video for you guys. I'll be doing the invisible um, crochet, like to give like the illusion that your hair is in singles, but it's really not. Um, the only thing I would have to say is if you're gonna do this hairstyle, make sure you have plenty of time to just create the foundation alone. It took me about two hours to complete. If you're a faster braider, then you should do it in like, you know a few minutes tops um so that's the only thing that i was like oh this is taking so long i might as well just do individuals right but however what i love about this illusion is that once i take out the crochet hair i don't have to take out my actual hair so then i will still have a foundation which is still going back so when i want to put on my wigs or if i want to like put a head tie on it's already like laid flat so this is so this is a reason why I like this illusion, like to give the like this um, crochet illusion method because um, you can use it, you can like recycle it afterwards when you take down your hair. If you are a wig wearer, you can just plop your wig right on um, after taking out the crochet crochet hair because your hair is already going to be braided. Also for hygiene, um, if like I would say I would do that, like take my hair out and then put a wig on if I you know kept this in for like a week or two i would definitely just plop my wig you know on top of my head if i went longer than that you know for hygiene reasons obviously you have to take out the foundation to wash your hair and braid it back down to put on your wig or your head tie or, or if you want to wear your hair out whatever it's your choice so i show you guys how i did this um i'll try to like be as descriptive as i can i'm also trying a new product um it's it's kind of like um it's kind of very similar to the true edge um edge controller edge gel edge controller that um is really like was really popular in the states and we finally got it out here in canada finally um so i got like its cousin it was half the price of the true edge controller true edge true edge gel true edge controller whatever um and they also have like different flavors as well the flavor that i got was in the color peach so i'll be showing you guys that as well um i held it down with my edges and you know a little bit goes a long way obviously it does give residue you know if you use too much or if you you know just use a little bit and you won't have any like issues with like residue showing or flaking and none of that none of that shit that we don't like with edge control right so enough of me babbling okay let's get right into this video um i'm also going to be showing you guys how to make sure that your crochet style ends up very full and not looking so you know scarce okay um, i'm gonna show you guys how to do that in depth well, not in depth. I'm going to show you guys one example, and then you just can, you just follow that one foundation for all the rest. And that will have your hair looking full in the back without any spaces or any, um, like, indication that there's missing any crochet hair. Because, no, we don't, we, we don't want that. So, basically, um, you can see... Basically, that's what you want. When you put your hair down or half up or half down, you want to see that it is full and there's no scalp in between unless it is obviously where the illusion is um, to give the illusion that your hair is in singles. So let's get right to it. I'm done babbling. I promise this time. All right, so for the illusion braid pattern, you can decide whether or not you'd like to do your entire head with the illusion or if you just want to do, you know, the top half. In my case, I chose to just do the top half of my head. Um, like I mentioned earlier on, it does take quite some time. I'm a very slow braider. I did not want to spend the whole day on this project. Um, and that's it. That's all. So I'm just going to just divide my hair, my hair into two. like as if I was gonna came room my hair going backwards and I did a small section because the full locks that I'm using they're not too small but they're not too big and I just wanted it to be like the perfect size for each parting um, once I was done 
I then went on to using the True Edge controller, which I mentioned is a more affordable alternative to the Edge Booster, and it also comes in many different scents as the Edge Booster um, for half the price. So I definitely saw that in the hair store, and I'm like, oh, let me try it out. And it really did, it really did what it was supposed to give. Like a little bit, like I mentioned, goes a long way. So first things first, once you make the part, you're gonna make little sections from or in that part, if that makes any sense. And that's how you're gonna create the illusion braids. So you're gonna do like mini box braids, and then you're gonna connect them going um, vertically. Like, like if you're doing a cane row, but it's gonna be a box. You're gonna section them out into boxes going backwards. So my hair is super thin, super fragile, and I was so nervous. I'm like, oh my god, like it's gonna pull my hair. I'm not gonna have no more edges left. The man's I'm not gonna look at me no more. But um, all in all, it went really well, and the hairstyle came out super great. So I just have to wait and see. Fingers crossed when I take this hairstyle down, what's left. <laughs> and yeah, I'm also gonna be using the blue magic or magic blue no blue magic Indian what I say like a Jamaican Indian hemp grease for the ends of my hair wherever I felt like it was like a little bit dry just for moisture to keep it moisturized as um, I keep this hairstyle in and yeah so I'm pretty much gonna be showing you guys this in real time for a good while just you know so you can get what I'm doing and then I'm gonna fast forward the other section um, just to speed it up but you know, still giving you guys a lot of visuals. Um, so you know, it's like better understanding. Before I forget, definitely have a, like an extra mirror on hand, or if you don't mind getting up often to go to the bathroom or, or wherever your closest mirror is, just to make sure that your parting are like clear and neat and nice. It's very essential because again, like we're trying to give an illusion that these are box braids and we like clear parts for box braids, faux locks, any type of style that is giving singles be like a clear path, period.
hairline is anything like mine's, like kind of like M shaped, just you see what I'm doing right here, just to find your like correct parting where your temple is, just do that. Try to eyeball it so that way you know it doesn't get in the way of your other parts or you know none of that ish. So just do what I did and you shall be fine. Promise you. to my right hand side um, just like to balance it out because I don't know about you guys but when I do cane rolls if I just start from like the left hand side and go over to the right hand side it just gets like lopsided in the mix so I definitely had to like switch sides um, in between to make sure like I get it right okay when you when you know better you do better and trust me I've learned so much from my past mistakes so we're not repeating them again this time around. No, we're just giving perfection all 2022 for you guys. Once I was done creating the illusion pattern on the top part of my head, I just like sectioned out, I believe it was like four, four parts in the back and just came with like three three in one and then one one and then three again into canaries going back and then I made four individual singles um, just to crochet some bow locks in it in case I want to put my hair up. 
I then just wrapped my head overnight because I had work the next day and I didn't want to do my hair for work. It just got in the way of everything. Um, so I just tied it down, went to work with my hair like that. When I came home later that evening, I decided to finish it up for you guys. Um, the hair that I'm using, I'm going to leave it in the description box or you can just rewind and pause. Um, also, I've been doing this trick where, you know, every time I have to like put in a faux lock, I dip the crochet hook into some oil. It could be almond oil, whatever oil you have lying around, just dip your stick inside of it and pass it through your hair. It gives it more of an ease to go through and come out and also like, you know, less breakage in the end for your head top. Um, right now, I'm just creating basically just, you know, making sure that the bottom is well connected and secured so once I braided that back part I just took the end of that braid and just crocheted it into that final braid as you see that I'm doing here once that is done I start doing as you can see I already have one in a single one of my single fold locks and then I crochet the hair that is left out of the crochet back into the fold lock so that way you do not see my real my real hair hanging from the lock that I pass the hook directly in the middle of the first part of that row to give it that real look that it's a single faux lock and then on the second row I'm gonna go off I'm gonna start it off with a color 1B27 and then I'm gonna finish the rest of that row using the color 1B the third row I also use just one of the 1B27 and then at the fourth row and fifth row I believe I use two of the 1B27 finishing it off with the color um, 1B just so that when it falls like over the other sections it really gives like um, a nice flow to it and it doesn't look so choppy and I follow that same like pattern on the other side because I have like the same like the equal amount of braids on each side um, of like the middle braid if that makes any sense like there's four rows on each side plus that one row in the middle which balances it off so you just copy the same pattern from one side to the next and I forgot to mention make sure like when you're passing the hook through it really does make a difference whether you're passing the, the hook upwards or downwards so you want to give it a, like an invisible type of finish so make sure that you are passing the hook going downwards at like at least for like the top part of your head top on both sides
my camera was dying but I assure you if you just repeat this step so you see how I'm passing the, the hook like going in one direction and then you're gonna pass the hook going the other direction and you're gonna keep doing that all the way down and you're gonna repeat that going um, you're gonna repeat that on each braid that will give it the full look that you're going for don't mind the little hanging braid on the side I just went back in afterwards and just um, like re crocheted back to itself and it was all good so we're almost at the ending there's like a few seconds left of this tutorial and then I'm gonna show you guys how the ending looked hope you guys really liked it let me know down below and leave me a two thumbs up so that's the end of this video thank you guys so much for watching thank you guys so much for subscribing we are on our way to a thousand subscribers 1k subscribers okay we are on that journey so thank you for hitting that like button. If you didn't like it, tell people vous la vie goes on. And as per usual, boo, stay blessed and stay safe. See you guys in my next video. Ciao.